today's video, I'm going to talk about how to use uh, the page list manager in Oracle Apex. Let's take a look at the screen. Yes, uh, this is the list manager page item. Uh, this uh, uh, this item, the value is from the employee table, and uh, this is the submit button. The result of oh, yes, yeah, sorry, the result is. Uh, uh, from the list manager, the value will be displayed here, and the report is using the list manager as the parameter to filter the employee table. And I will show you how to operate. Yes, we can select one employee and select two. Yes, and and. There are uh, three employees to be selected, and uh, when I submit the button, uh, we can get the result from the list manager. Uh, we can see here is the string with the colon separated the each value, and uh, the this is the report from the um, the from the list manager as a parameter. And uh, this is parameter is the one string and uh, how to convert the the one string into multiple multiple lines multiple rows in which is one in each row you can see here and uh, uh, this is the employee number and uh, here and uh, in the match the the first uh, the first substring of the of the result. And how to achieve it? Let's go to the page designer, and we can see the see the um, see the page items the list manager. And we need to uh, set up the type of the page item as the list manager. And uh, the SQL query is from the employee number E and P. Under the display, we can see the com uh, combination of the employee number and employee name and the value of the employee number. And the submit is a button that we can, uh, here we need to set, set the action as submit page. And the result, result, uh, result is from the list manager um, in order to see the value, how is the how is the list manager's value like? And uh, um, yes, we need to set the set the uh, set the P1 result. Assign the list manager to the P1 result. And uh, the result is the key uh, is key important. And uh, we can see how to. Uh, generate a report from the SQL statement, and uh, there are two solutions. Uh, first uh, is uh, uh, using the using the Oracle function install uh, the employee number uh, because the P1 list manager is string with a colon. So I um, using the I'm using the install function to filter the employee number, and uh, another. And uh, we can use another solution to to implement uh, the result. Let's take uh, let's take a look at the solution one. Solution one is uh, using the recurs function recurs p substring and uh, a delimiter delimiter separated uh, string. P1 list manager can be converted to a set of rows in Oracle SQL with a combination of a recurs function, recurs P substring, um, via the connected by recurrent. Uh, this feature can be used for splitting a single input string with a colon separated, separated into a list of values. And uh, uh, we can use any one of the solution. Go to the page, page screen, and we can see the the 
the screen like this, and uh, we can remove and uh, submit uh, the button. You can see the three value, three value, one string, and uh, three, uh, three rows, three rows of records. Uh, this video is done. If you have questions, please um, comment below. Um, I will respond to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much.